Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about SD cards and the FAT16 file system. By the time you finish this video, you will understand some of this and be able to program your microcontroller to give you a picture like this. I'll show you how to edit an image in Adobe Photoshop Elements 9, convert it to 565 RGB, put it onto an SD card and then display it. That ton of numbers that flashed up, that is the boot sector. At the moment you probably won't understand any of it. As I say, by the time this video is finished, you'll be able to read the boot sector, understand some of it, and give you a display like this. And the most important directory is the root directory, because that's where your files are stored, the information about your files. In this particular case, from all those numbers in the boot directory, I can establish the root directory is at sector 472. So you go to 472 and then look at the files. But let's see how we get the root directory first. So this is the FAT16 file system. So sectors per FAT, root entries, sectors per cluster, Start plus reserved, number of FATs, so we've got two file allocation tables. Bytes per sector, 512 bytes. Cluster size, 32,768. That number's important, we'll be using it later. And then obviously the root directory. This is my C file. I'm using Microelectronica's MicroC Pro for PIC32. But the functions will work with an 8-bit microcontroller. 8-bit, 16-bit or 32-bit microcontroller. Just adjust the functions to suit your chip. The whole C file is for my display showing a clock and writing to SRAM, that sort of stuff. So a lot of it won't be applicable to your needs. What's important is I am using Microelectronica's SD card library. So MMC card or SD card. And you'll see here, so I'm initializing the card here. I need that because I'm using the library to open various sectors. So hopefully you've got your own library on whatever microcontroller you're using. But other than opening specific sectors, I'm not using the library for much else. So the first thing you have to do is get the boot information and obviously show the boot information. So I created a loop here just so this information would stay on the screen so you could see it. You don't have to show it, but for the purpose of this video, I did show it. So you could comment that out. Go up to the functions, get boot information. So if I show you this first, this bit here, incidentally is taken from microchips, memory disk drive file system library. So application note 1045. And what's also important is all the details you read from that boot sector or root directory or any sector, it's little endian, which means the least significant number is shown first. And the most significant number is obviously shown last. So that makes it a little more complicated. I'll run through one of these bits, give you an example. So what am I talking about the offset? If I show you a program I was using, the program is called HXD, Developers Mail Hortz, and like my C files, it's free to use. So download this HXD editor. I'll put the SD card in the computer so we can see what we're looking at. So these are the files I've got on that SD card. Paris bitmap, two text files, and if you're a Microelectronica user, you'll be familiar with the res files, res meaning resources. Microelectronica strip out the headers from bitmaps and just to put them all in a particular order in a, a res file. This Paris bitmap is a regular picture from a camera converted to 16-bit color with Adobe Elements 9 and then put onto this memory card. So we've got a bitmap header to deal with, but don't worry, I'll talk you through it. So these are the files I'm going to be looking at, or specifically this bitmap. Get the HXD program on your computer. 
I've got it here. So you've got a choice. You can open files or you can open the disk, the SD card. So the second card, JB card 2. OK. And this is all that information I showed you at the beginning. It looks rather intimidating, doesn't it? But let's go through some of it. So this is sector zero, which is the boot sector. And the boot sector for FAT16 always starts at sector zero. There will be a copy of this, a backup on this card. But we don't need to know where it is. So all these numbers mean something. Hard to believe, isn't it? In fact, these first bits here, if I click on each number here, the hexadecimal, if you haven't seen my hexadecimal and nibbles video, you need to go and have a look. So if I click on this, you can see here this E is highlighted. Next one, next one, 4D is the M, Five, uh, 53 is the S, 44 is a D. So these are the hexadecimal representations of these numbers. Now, if you're using Microelectronica software, as do I, under Tools, ASCII Chart, go back to that. So M, capital M. So we look for a capital M here. Click on that. So we've got decimal 77, or hexadecimal, Hopefully you can see that under my mouse, hexadecimal 4D. Go back to the boot sector, M, 4D. So this is spelling out MS-DOS, something like 5.20, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so there's some information you don't need. These bits down here, press any key to continue. You can see it says boot manager there press any key to continue but there's a lot of important information up here now don't be put off but this offset are all these numbers down the left hand side so if I change this to decimal first so remember every number starts at nothing so we've got nothing 1 to 15 so that's 16 bytes per line so if that's 16, then this offset for the second line, we're starting at offset 16. Then offset 32, you can see on the left, offset 48, 64, 80. Now if we go back to the C file, various bits of information you need always start at particular offsets. And then like this jump code plus NOP, so no operation, is three bytes long, so you can see that starts at naught to three. OEM name starts at three, so three in decimal or hex is the same. B, so one word, so that's two bytes. Bytes per sector, B, H. Pull up calculator if you've forgotten. B is number 11. Start sector, number of copies of fat, number of sectors, sectors per fat etc etc or volume name down here look 11 bytes executable code 448 bytes so now you've seen the boot sector you know roughly what we're looking at let's find the root directory so if you look at my code I'll make this code available I'll put it on github and put a link in the show more but give me time to do it if you're one of those who watches the video within seconds of it being released. I'm not going to run through all of it because most of you won't watch all the video. If we look here, the root directory is equal to the first file allocation table plus sectors per fat multiplied by the number of file allocation tables. So the root directory is equal to the first file allocation table plus so let's find the first file allocation table right so the first file allocation table is an integer and the first file allocation table equals the boot sector plus start sectors of fat one 
So we know the boot sector is at zero, sector zero. So then the start sector for fat one. Where is the start sector for fat one? So the start sector for fat one, also known as reserved, starts at hexadecimal E. So 15 is F, so E must be 14. 14. So the start sector for fat one is at offset 14. Now go back to the HXD program. Where is offset 14? I'll change this back to hexadecimal. So 10 is 16. So 14 must be on this top line. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. E. So there's our first number. And what did it say? It's one word. So E starts at E. Then the second number is going to be F. Back to the editor. So E, F. Remember their little Indian. So if there was a number in F, that would come first, then the number 6. But since F is empty, we can ignore it and just concentrate on the 6. So the 6 being less than 10 is the same decimal, hexadecimal. So we want number 6. Back to the C file. So the first file allocation table equals a boot sector which is naught plus a start sector for FAT1. I'll put there equals 6. Right, so the root directory equals the first file allocation table, which is 6, plus sectors per FAT. Let's find the sectors per FAT. You can see here's the calculation. If we look at this table up the top, 16H sectors per FAT. So the offset 16 in hexadecimal. 16 in hexadecimal is 22 in decimal. This is 10 hexadecimal, we want 16. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Looking at this equation here, boot sector buffer 16 and 17. So 16 and 17. Let's put these in Windows Calculator. So remember it's little endian, so if there were numbers here on the right, you'd put those in first, but so it's 0, 0, and then E9, E9, 233, back to our C file, so sectors per fat equals 233, multiplied by the number of file allocation tables, right, so the number of file allocation tables, there's the equation there, boot sector, offset 10. We know where 10 is, don't we? If we look here, offset 10, number of copies of fat, offset 10. Go back to the editor, there is offset 10. We looked at this already, so 2. Back to the C file, so it's 1 byte, so we just need that number 2. So the first file allocation table plus sectors per fat is 233 times number of file allocation tables we just saw was 2 so asterisk 2 go to decimal so 233 times 2 equals 466 plus the 6 plus 6 equals 472 so our root directory there is at 472. So this is sector 0, the boot sector. If we now jump up to the top here, type in 472, enter. There's our root directory. That's the name of the card when I formatted it, JB card 2. There's a books text there. There's a second text file. And there's the Paris bitmap there. So we found our root directory and now we can see the files. And there is the new PIX res, the Microelectronica format. 
So that's it for this video. I'm going to call this part one. It's now 1931. So I've been on the video for four hours and we've only just got to reading the root directory. Now my C file, which as I said I'll put on GitHub and put a link in the show more, my C file contains all the information to read the boot sector, find the root directory, read the root directory, so these are the books, text, books 2, text, bitmap, so Paris bitmap. These are some various calculations that I'll go into next time. This important number here, 824, this is the actual sector for the Paris 1 bitmap. This video has now taken me 4 hours. It's now 14 minutes 55 long, so probably too long for most of you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, an introduction into the FAT16 file system so I've shown you how to read the boot information and just find the root directory yeah that's taken four hours to explain all of that but hopefully I've done it clearly and concisely and not left any questions so as I say the C file is going to be on GitHub this video has taken me four hours to do this program has taken me months and months and months or maybe over a couple of years actually kept on starting and coming back to it. I can now get a regular picture, format it to 16-bit colour using Adobe, put it on an SD card and then read the header for the bitmap and then find its location from the header and display it. I'll take out this loop and let you see the whole program. As I say the whole program is in the C file. Uh, feel free to donate a coffee if you found it helpful because it has taken an awful lot of work the programming and this first part of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like. Thanks for watching.